Yay! You wanna know what this book is all about? Do ya? Do ya? Well, I'll tell ya. I will. So basically, this book is about a girl named Saba. She has a twin brother named Lou. And she follows Lou around everywhere. Like a baby duckling following the mother duck. They're like one soul in two bodies. Two bodies, one soul. Got that? Good. Moving on. Saba has lived her whole life on a dried up lake. And she has had no interaction with the outside world. And lo and behold, when one day four horsemen show up in a sandstorm, they kidnap Lou. Saba's not happy about that. Lou's her best friend. She can't survive without him. So she decides she's going to follow them to save Lou. But there's a problem with that plan. She has a younger sister. And her younger sister follows Saba. Saba doesn't want her to follow. But that's when the adventure really begins. So this story was like a roller coaster ride. There were lots of slow parts and lots of fast parts. The slow parts, they didn't bother me. I rather enjoyed them. I didn't find myself bored at all, which is always good with the slower parts. And the action parts were great, but I did think they ended too soon. One thing that kept going through my mind while I read this book, though, was that it kind of reminded me of Waterworld, but minus all the water. And not in the sense of the storyline that it reminded me of Waterworld, but in the sense of just the civilization and the way they interacted with each other. They were ruthless. It was as if they were reverting back instead of growing forward. Now I'll tell you about the characters. Saba, the main character, was extremely amazing. She was one stubborn ass. She didn't take crap from anybody. She's the type of girl that if you slap her, she'll punch you back. Which was always, you know, it's always funny. She's also very relentless. She doesn't give up on what she wants and she knows what she wants. But sometimes she denies herself what she wants as well. One thing about her, she wouldn't accept help from anybody. If anyone tried to help her, she would just tell them to leave, go back to where they came from, and she tried leaving them many times. Especially her younger sister, Emmy, who followed her, but now she can't get rid of She tries to dump her sister off lots of places with lots of different people. But Emmy, she just keeps following her sister. At the beginning of the book, Saba feels as if she, her life can't go on unless she has Lou with her. She's not a whole person unless Lou is with her. But over the course of the book, she learns that she is a person and that she does have a heart. And she learns that she can be independent. She doesn't always have to rely on Lou. Sometimes Lou can be relying on her. And that's a really great lesson to learn. Jack is the type of kid who is always laughing at everything. He appears not to have a care in the world. But it's totally not true. He does. But he just doesn't like to show it. And the banter between him and Saba was great. They were some of my favorite parts in the book. They had me laughing and smiling at myself. Especially the second half of the book. Saba's younger sister, Emmy, she's just as stubborn as Saba. It's where she gets it. She may seem like the typical annoying younger sister, but really, she just wants to be loved and she wants to help out in every way that she can. But as for Saba's twin brother, Lou, we didn't really get to see a whole lot of him. So I don't really have an opinion on him. But, you know, he seemed nice for the part that I did get to read about him, so there's that going for him. Now the writing style. It was extremely refreshing and revitalizing. I really enjoyed it. There wasn't any quotations around the dialogue, which made it kind of hard to determine if Sabo was talking to somebody or just thinking in her head. But after a while, I got used to it. And the writing style didn't bother me at all. I was able to jump right in and not have trouble with the writing style at all. Which is amazing, of course, when that happens. And words were spelt differently. Like just was spelled J-E-S-T, pronounced jest. Exactly was exactly, with Z's in it, exactly. 
but you know, I liked it. It really felt just those little, you know, ways of spelling the words. It really felt as if Saba was telling the story and not just an author telling the story of somebody else. I really felt as if Saba had written this story down herself and I really, really liked that about it. It immersed me into the story of the world, you know, way more than most books do. Overall, it was an incredible read. I really felt immersed in the characters. There was a lot of character development. Writing was phenomenal. It felt original. And above all, and probably the most important, I enjoyed myself. If you don't enjoy yourself while reading a book, then what's the point of reading it? I give this book 5 out of 5 stars. It was incredible. I will definitely be reading it again. And I can't wait for the second one. You know how I know there's going to be a second one? Because look at this. See that? Right there. Okay. You can't see that. I'll go closer. See that? This lens. Book one. Book one. Which means there will be a book two. Two books is always awesome. I don't know if this is going to be a trilogy or longer, but there will at least be a sequel. There has to be a sequel. There wasn't really a cliffhanger ending, but, you know, I want more. I want more of Saba. She is incredible. I love her. And I never love the main character. The main character is never my favorite, except for in Blood Red Road, because she is, and it's amazing. And I can't wait to read more of Saba's story and her world. And I really wish the next book would come out. I don't, I have no clue when it comes out. Hopefully soon. Because sooner, you know, is like better than earlier. So, yeah, yeah. Go read this book, guys. Please. Please go read it. It's awesome. One of my favorites for 2011, for sure. For sure. Top five. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Wah. Ow, my neck hurts. <gasps> the light, it burns us. Oh. Maybe doing this review under the bed wasn't such a good idea because my neck is really sore now, guys. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Wah!